The title of my talk today is Against All Odds. My name is Jeanette Elizabeth Kirk and I'm a proud Kanaka descendant. I'm one of 14 of James and Decima Egmalees' children, which includes a cousin. I'm second generation Australian born on my father's side and third generation Australian born on my mother's side. Both sides of my Kanaka family come from New Hebrides, now Vanuatu. My grandparents were exempted from being deported in the early 1900s because their large family had settled here and their marriage may not be accepted back in the island of Espiritu Santo. I had the privilege of visiting Port Vila on the mission field in 1973. This visit was unreal. As I stepped off the plane looking through the window, I kept seeing people who looked like someone back in Queensland amongst my community. This is my grandparents' island home. I was born in Maribor where my mother's grand great-grandparents landed. Dad's parents landed in Bundaberg and settled in Nambour where he eventually leased land and sent sugar cane to our local Morton sugar mill for eight seasons. He chose to stay and he wanted his family to integrate into the Australian way of life. As a family we took part in the local cups, local scouts, girl guides, brownies, red cross marching girls and our local sports team. My family had a qualified mechanic, a cabinet maker, four nurses including a registered nurse and a registered and enrolled nurse. I was told at the age of 16 by an education officer who asked and what would you like to do when you leave school? Her response to me, wanting to be a nurse, forget about being a nurse because they don't take black people. This made my parents more determined to put me through nursing. I qualified with three certificates. Just recently another brother gained a degree in professional business. My grandmother was 16 years old when she was kidnapped from the beach. Her story is representative of so many other Kanakas who were stolen, kidnapped, enticed, you name it. Then the first group of Kanakas came up Brisbane River on the August of 18th, 1863 and landed in Red Bank, which is good and a ramp today. 67 men between the ages of 14 and 18 walked along the Aboriginal track, which is Mount Lindsay Highway today. They spent a night in Jimboomba, probably in a shed, then on to Boa Desert, where Robert Towns had his cotton plantation named Townsville on the Logan River. Blackbirding of my people had begun in Queensland. Yes, our people helped pioneer Queensland. My concern is that the majority of Australians are totally unaware of our existence and our history. Unless the history is put into the schools as a compulsory subject, we will remain in a position of fighting against all odds. Thank you.